Hello my friends and welcome back to our continued buying let's play Brother Default HD mod or HD offline mod where the fairy flies for the PC. My name is Flyzbear, this is your story Gaming Channel. Today we head into the forest. Uh, the forest that we didn't want to go into but the Escalot is kind of clipped at the moment. So we have a little choice but to venture forward. Hope we all having a wonderful, fantastic day today. We got some new special moves. A new X Potion, Arctic Wind, Dark Matter. Uh, we have 668 people plus 130. That is a huge amount. Uh, let's see. So this is going for 29 minutes. Uh, we have a couple level 11s. Uh, let's get this up. Did not mean to do that. It's fine. Um, let's get this up. Let's get this up. And we still have 58. So... Should even that out a little bit better. There we go. So about 26 minutes from now, we'll be able to, uh, we'll be able to, you know, do that stuff. Uh, let's head into the forest. The Miasma Woods. Well, I guess forest may be the wrong word here. the lungs but it's not <coughs> not so dire that we can't manage another step it may be perhaps that the return of the winds has thinned out the miasma for us that'd be nice whatever the cause we'd best take advantage of it if we can pass let us do so now so apparently this was always here but we couldn't have gone through it because of the winds um and that that's really cool how they do that Oh, chapter two. One day beneath a blue sky. Uh oh. I want to report on Anshine. Alternus, you're as good as any. Speak up. I've heard rumors the wind crystal was awakened, as they would have it put. Indeed. And worse, since its awakening, the crystal has been protected by a shield that bars all but the Vestal. Well, that's cool. You made contact with the girl, did you not? Why did you not capture her then? Were these infamous allies of hers really so strong as to cow even you, Dark Knight? They... No. Among those I saw accompanying the Vestal, one of them was a dia. My, my, my. This is a twist. Quite so. A shocking turn. So what then? You saw her, tucked your tail, and ran home crying? <laughs> How miserable! Still, if this is the truth, it is a troubling one. We look to you to lead all the Eternian forces, Lord Marshal. For your daughter to abet the Vestal is problematic. For your daughter to abet? How would you have us proceed? Yeah, idea, right? Any who would join the Vestal in opposing us must be eliminated. Wow, that's hardcore. Her birth matters not. Ah, bold words. But how truthful, I wonder. You would really allow her elimination? Your Lordship! The task before us is larger than us all. I'll not allow private matters to slow its course. Then, I shall go and speak with her again. Surely. I will go. It seems the Water Vestal is proving a problem as well. I shall go and pluck the both of them. Just try it. 
expect a suitable shower of accolades upon my successful return. Come, Victor! As you command. Oh, the two of them are going together. That's a problem. Lord Marshal, are you certain of this? Hmm. All right, uh, let's see. There's one chest here. Uh, looking at our class and everything, we have a level six freelancer. Level six black mage. Looks like we're working on those. Mazel Woods creeps me out. Can't wait to get to floor. I'm the land of the radiant flowers. Yeah, me too. Let's, uh. The heck? It's a random fox? What happened to the adventurer? Oh, it looks like. This is not the adventurer shop. This is a different shop. Okay, um. Idea. She has daggers. Doesn't need that. We don't really have anyone who uses axes yet. Although, technically, I guess as a freelancer, you can use almost any weapon, right? Um. Mythical dagger would be a damage increase, but she's doing well right now. Mental goals would do a lot for defense, but I, I think I'm good. I don't think I need anything from you. I was trying to hit Trader, but I kept pressing the wrong button. Uh, as far as items go, getting more eye drops would be good. Just overall, getting more items. And since these are free, might as well just buy as many as we need to so that we don't have to worry about them till the end of the game. Eighty. Thanks for that number. Uh, yeah, I I'm good with this. How about magics? Now uh, we have all that learned. We don't need teleport like ever. Uh, these are level threes. I mean, Sloga would probably be really the only level three I actually care about. And of course, Hey Saga is the one that is the, the, the really good spell. Or am I, um, or am I making a time mage? Because I definitely need time magic. Time magic is amazing. But who's going to be my committed time mage? I think I said it was going to be Agnes, right? But I want to get another job or two on Freelancer first. Uh, she just got another job. Shall we to level seven? No. No, I don't. Because I want to start leveling time mage first. So I can get some time magic. And then I can incorporate the time magic with... Wait, I thought she was my white mage. You're gonna be... Ah, you're gonna be my time mage. Right. You're gonna be my time mage, so you're gonna have support and black magic. And then you're gonna have white magic and something. Okay. Uh, so we need to have Riggin Bell get one more level. Probably shouldn't walk in that. May not be a good idea. Enter battle, all my characters are poisoned. Alright, let's see what the enemies are like here. We got funguses and uh, scorpions. Myconoids. Hey, how about that? Uh, I was playing Boulder's Gate through with a friend, and there's an area called the Myconoid. Uh, own. Bunch of mushroom people. Don't use potions. There you go. Oh! Well, that's interesting. Didn't expect that. And there's that black magic level three that I needed so, so badly. Okay, so now I can change his job. And we'll go to two ability. We're gonna go to black magic. Uh, using Divining Rod and Damage Push, that's fine. 
Turn to the start of battle, the entire party is wiped out? Huh. This is like a reset button. Interesting. Uh, optimum? Apparently... And why choosing that? The magic attack goes down. Oh, okay. Fair enough. Um, blessed shield comes with the cure ability. That sounds good. I mean, it's currently the only one using shields at the moment. Afraid to walk in this. Okay. So no one's poisoned, right? It's weird how they have the loop around because you really think that if you walk in there, you're gonna get poisoned. What do we got down here? A treance. In order for you to get your special, you need to use magic. Uh. I doubt he's gonna get a chance to use that spell, though. Oh, he did? Okay, we got a little bit damage there, but not a lot. I think we're fine. Okay, five chests in this area. Looks like there's another locked chest here. Still not sure how to get, open up those locked chests. Magic attack 10% up support ability. Oh, that's really good. Especially at level one. Because you could easily give that to any character very easily. Because it's only a level one ability. I'm going to switch out damage dispersion for that. Okay. That's locked, right? Yeah. Should also see about secret passages. I don't think it's gonna get turned, that's a problem. I don't think he's gonna get a turn. Unless there's more than one enemy. I mean, more than two enemies. Because the problem is the, uh, the amount of damage that we output is very high. Now, our defenses aren't the best, but our damage is really high. That, that looked like a good spot for a secret. Like right here? Got the mushroom people. Hopefully they'll split. That might not be so bad. Is that what I'm gonna use my uh, quake spells? Yep. Wow, nice crit. Oh my god, that's a problem. I 
I don't know if I have the power to kill them all. Oh, just barely. Let's go. Let's go. That was amazing. 44 job points. Uh, slow parry? I would have expected time magic level 2 by now. What the heck is slow parry? Um... So Perry. Here it is. Uh, has 50% chance to apply slow to your attack when taking a single target. That's, I mean, that's that's not bad. Scimitar here. Let's see if the scimitar can be used by uh, not the uh, Anius. Oh, you already have one. Come on. Two thousand PG. I will gladly take more money. Looks like I'm being driven in circles here. It's weird they're giving me a bunch of antidotes, but nothing's poisoned yet. But then again, I really haven't been hit yet because I'm really, really fast. That's fair. with the level. I have a very offensive-minded party at the moment. I mean, if you think about it, with the monk, with the thief, it's just everything is full steam ahead as fast as you can go. Phoenix down. Now, because these guys split, Probably good, just uh, ready that just in case. And it's split. I wonder if they have a chance of splitting. Like, I thought, you know, you hit it once, it splits. Think about with the uh, level. Not job level, just a basic level. And. Looks like you gotta come back into this zone from another zone. Yeah, yeah, we're gonna have to come back into the zone from another zone. Let's try to do that immediately if we can. Yep, right here. That was easy enough. Yeah, explosion. All right, in this area we have five chests. No secret passages yet though. I hate it when I press the wrong buttons. Okay, there's one split. I actually don't mind if they split, as long as I know it's split too much. Like that may be a little too much there. That, that was a call for a game. Um, I'm gonna have you brave. I want her back up before we finish the fight. So I don't want her to lose out on anything. Right, 
now we murderize. Oh. All right. Well, let's let's wait for everyone else to be on the same page. Okay. Now we murderize. I'm gonna go ahead and just use this. That way, uh, the the game remembers my uh, inputs. We got an antidote too. Jeez. These guys must have like a percent chance of splitting. There we go. That was a lot of stuff though. Tis with the level. I mean, 64 job points is almost like a boss. Earthing Rod? I think we've already got one of those. And we got some BP, that's not gonna matter if they die. Idea with the level. Much more smooth experience there. Uh, we almost got another time magic level. Hopefully that's gonna give me time magic level too. I also noticed that I have my special up on everyone except Idea, just because I haven't used items. Why did I do that? It doesn't really matter. He's not gonna get a turn. Wow, 1100 damage. There's that job level. There's time magic level two. Yes, that's what I was hoping for. That's what I was hoping for. High potion. Ether. Guess no hidden secrets here. Yeah, no hidden secrets here. Uh, Great Moth. Okay, apparently we got into the Yu-Gi-Oh world. She almost took them all out by itself. Nearly to Florum. Let's take a look at this. Uh, the Musunakami. Harvey Knife, 150. The Blue Spear, Labidus. We could get another Bless, but we don't have anyone else who uses shields. And everyone has a Rainbow Dress. That's just so expensive. Like, these are the things I wish I had. Okay, let's head in. Oh, it's a Valkyrie. Well, this is unusual. It's not often you reach out to contact me directly, Dark Knight. She looks amazing. I'll not take up more of your time than necessary. I have a request of a delicate nature. The Blood Rose Legion is deployed in Florum. If this favor poses no conflict to my mission, I'll consider it. Look at her name, too. Valkyrie Einheria. Uh, so, the Einheria are the people that the Valkyrie would, you know... 
get under, well, would resurrect to fight in the in Ragnarok. So her name is Valkyrie Anheria, and that is amazing. That is so cool. I like it. I like it a lot. The vessel of wind has entered Florum. We're certain of it. Ah. Hence the news I just received that Victoria and Victor will be joining us there. Victoria and Victor. The only problem is that Idea is accompanying her. Accompanying the Vestal? She's been deceived, seduced by that witch's words. I tried to talk some sense into her, but the two of you are practically sisters. Perhaps she'll listen to you, if not me. Will you do this? <laughs> That girl has caused you no end of grief over the years. Very well. I shall do all I can. But, should my sisters make contact first? Best you gave up on her. I'm afraid even I can scarcely keep these two in check any longer. And she has two sisters. That's, I like it, I like it a lot. I like it. I, I understand. Girls, you heard him. You will continue your current mission as ordered. I got her hair. The That's Vestal amazing. may attack at any moment. Stay vigilant. Yes, sister. I wonder what their names are. Oh, no. No boss? I could have sworn there would be a boss there. Foul stench. Hey, does anyone else smell something funny? Yeah, what is that? Strong. Ah, it's like something's rotten. My eyes are watering. Perhaps we're smelling the Miasma Woods namesake. I doubt it. The wind is blowing in the opposite direction. I feel like it's coming from the north. Ring a bell. When was the last time you took a bath? Huh. If it were my natural musk, you and Anias would be losing your minds with desire right about now. Ah. <sighs> Nothing. No response at all. Okay, it's about time, I think, to uh, go to the town. I mean, we, we gotta be just about there, right? Uh, special Moon Parks? No, we're... Wow, we're, we're, we're really close. We're a minute. Eh, I can do a lot in a minute. Uh, let's see. I need to go up and to the right. Probably won't let me enter here, correct? We'll say we don't have any business here. We've no reason. Let's begin in Florum. Yeah, I thought so. <laughs> fair enough. Fair enough. I, 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 I'm okay with that. Okay, where are we going here? Oh, not a single fight. Really? Okay. A lot of enemies right there. I love Uni. Ah, that's right. I don't need to uh, spam magic. Although I still will just make sure. He doesn't. Oh, there's something. Wow, 61 JP for that? That's really good. Like, super good. Okay, let's go to our town. We got a falcon knife, silver glaive, plus five turns. I'd like to get that uh, level 10 shot maxed now. I guess we can get the item shop up. And 
We don't have much more to go till everything is finished here, and then we don't have to worry about coming to the town anymore. Okay. Uh, let's drop a save. And we'll head into Florham. Florham, the land of radiant flowers. Is it, uh, is it just me, or are there awfully few men around? Florum is called the Land of Radiant Flowers for a reason. All its residents are female. Really? What? A whole nation of women, oh, you say? Oh, dear lord, no. And if a man comes here, what do they do to him? Worry. Men cannot take up residence, but no law bars them from visiting. I got two words for you. Snoo snoo. You're red as a beet, Tiz. Are you blushing? <laughs> oh no, I just hearing it's all ladies here. I just got a little nervous, is all. <laughs> That's adorable. Uh, hey, I just didn't know, all right? Don't tease me. Here it is. My journal describes this place in crisp detail. True to the old teachings, Florum's women live in chaste humility, in coexistence with the spirits of nature. Devout crystallists, they reject war and conflict, instead choosing lives of peaceful reflection. Hear that? A land of maidens, pure and modest, fit to shame the flowers of the field. Angels all. Give or take those two. <laughs> Feast your eyes! Well, I finally had it dyed! Brightest color I've seen I yet! It's a cool car! Well, have you seen this? A spirit hairpin! My coin purse is empty, but come on! Worth it! Pure and, well, maybe not so much modest. But surely they seek external beauty to match their... What the heck? <gasps> Cold! Is that the water balloon on her? What's wrong? Oh, that's cruel! She's soaking wet! Oh, you'll have to forgive me. I was dazed by your hideous hair, and my hand slipped. <laughs> Wow, you are a stuck up little. What in the world? Anya's is beautiful. Don't make fun that of her. Awful cow dropped something. Awful cow. <laughs> it's a flyer. 47th annual Sacred Flower Festival, it says. Ah, the yearly competition to decide the most beautiful flower in Florum. This is like Palm Queen. Lovely, a beauty contest. Now I'll never shut up. But that isn't right. The Sacred Flower Festival is a day of solemn observance of the crystallist faith. What's more, this place is different. Its streets were not so overrun with glamour and idle pleasure. I worry for Olivia as well. Let us go to speak with Florum's matriarch at once. Fire chat. A change city. Whoa, this place is incredible. Look at how shiny the floors are. I can ring a bell. What are you looking at? Oh, uh, various things. I was deep in thought, you see. Then why did I just catch you looking at my reflection? It's different. All of this is completely different than the last time I was here. I recall being a two-tiered city. Built upon the river's surface, but... 
Before, the lower tier was residential, while the upper was reserved for chrysalis institutions. What to that giant stage at the top? Did that serve a religious function? I've no idea. Nor could I even guess what sort of place all that neon is advertising. Just what in the world could have happened here? The city has changed. That's what's happened. Okay, let's take a look at this city. Uh, I've never been confident in my face or my body or anything. People always tell me my face is pretty. But then, it's them telling me everything, but my face isn't, right? <sighs> I'm just here for the skin. Dress sexy or stop? Oh my god. Jeez. I like, I'm like a magnet for men, and magnets work by being gorgeous. With beauty like mine, I'll ha have every man in the world turning my way. Uh, rename it. We can't do that. Like, yeah, I don't think we can edit our special moves, but we can't send our special move. I do want to do that sometime. Uh, magic shop. I could buy stuff. Like, I definitely know I want Hestega. I, I want all three of these spells. Like, time magic to me seems to be, like, something I definitely want to keep. I, I would... I would probably say that I favor time magic over black magic. If I had to choose, I would choose time magic. Uh, because I love... I love meteor spells. I I, I love the versatility here. I mean, re-raise... Uh, quicken... Stop... Quaga... Estaga... I mean, it's all so good. Um, I'm not gonna depend on either of these. Because I think these are just better. So, I definitely want to get Hastaga. Because that's long-term picking. Uh, Comet, definitely. And Veil Guy, definitely. I'm just gonna spend all my money on those, because I know I will eventually use them. Maybe not the best idea, but it's fine. It's fine. This, what is some of this stuff? Balsam? An ointment that cures dread. Probably need... Money. Can't spend all my money on those. But it is probably that I'll probably want to buy more of. Uh, can I say? Only 40? Pretty cheap ends. I like it. We didn't really need to stay here, but it does help Ring of Bell's uh, MP. Oh, a new party chat. Two tired boys. Did we get this because we used the end? on! You said it! Yeesh, what's got you to morning? First thing in the morning. Actually, don't answer that. Ring a bell? I can guess, but tis, why are you tired? <laughs> Ring a bell, I can guess. Jeez. Isn't that obvious? Those darn neon signs were flickering all night long. Then as soon as I finally get to sleep, Mr. Night Owl here comes suddenly back to the room. And we already know that you're a neurotic sleeper. Can we call it a light sleeper? Look, here's some coffee. These are dire times, so I made it black. Thanks, that's great. It's probably full of sugar. Ha ha ha, look at this one. He still fell asleep. He fell asleep still holding the cup. Don't go drowning in your coffee, ring a bell. Oh, uh, ooh. New weapons. Uh, scimitar don't need. I would like a Valkyrie halberd, for sure. A lot of fire, for sure. Oh! And, um, don't I have Fraga? I think I do. Or Fyra. That would be really good. Uh, Frenzy Dagger? That would be better than the other dagger I'm using. Spike and Uncle still aren't as good. Commons is still not as good. Okay, can I sell anything to make back some money? Okay, well, I don't need the Mythical Sword because obviously the Scimitar is better. I had two of them, so I can sell those. I don't need two Mage Mashers. I don't need a Mythical Bow if I have an Angel's Bow. Don't need Thumbing Claws if I have this super weapon that I'm using now. Okay, I got me 3,000. Probably don't need two Bucklers. Don't need any new Helms or Armor. We're using rainbow dresses, those are better. Okay, so we made back some money. 
Uh, let's see. Uh, Valkyrie Albert would be great. Uh, for... For versatility, because I don't have a spear. And we did meet a Valkyrie. I definitely want the Rod of Fire, though, right now. And I probably want the Frenzy Dagger right now. So that means I'll have to buy the, the spear later. So instead of the Mage Masher, go with the Frenzy Dagger. Um, and then instead of the Mithril Rod, we go with the Rod of Fire. Ooh, I like how the uh, the weapons and armor change as well. Very nice touch. Or at least the weapons change. Uh, I like seeing games that adopt or adapt. Uh, adopt. Uh, or adopt. I mean, I guess you could say either word. I, I like games that have it so that the, uh, the the characters change based on what they wear. I guess in this way, the armor is based on the job class, though. The hair paint costs the armor two legs, but isn't it just amazing? Gosh, each girl is good the next. It's a buffet for the eyes. The other day when Mama wasn't looking, I tried a lipstick. It sure was pretty. I'm supposed to go that way. Sorry, but I got no views for girls to just stand there showing out the awful boring colored hair. The sacred festival is high. You know what? I bet you I do want to go this way because this may be a um a side quest. Ah, oh, we'll just go this way. I would love more side quests. That means more hmm. asterisks. Who might you be, child? I am Anya Oblige, Vestal of Wind. It has been many years, Lady Matriarch. Oh, I see it now. My, but you've grown, dear. Florum is more beautiful for your visit. Aw, that's nice. On the topic of Florum's beauty, Lady Matriarch, just what has happened here? Then you've seen it, have you? Be sister to the flowers, woods, and waters, pure of mind and body. Those were Florum's ways. Emphasis on were, I fear. Now the girls war over who can ornament herself the loudest. They spend their days staring into mirrors while nature's beauty is lost to them. Their neglect has turned Florum's lands to wastes. Her beauty is all but lost. How has this happened? At some point, there emerged the notion that prosperity was limited only to the most beautiful. But you guide this land's laws, Lady Matriarch. Did you notice no change? Not until it was complete, I fear. It truly was an insidious thing. And now, I am left to curse my powerlessness to reverse this corrosive tide. I join you in despair, Lady Matriarch. My pure and... Going to cut you up there, Ringabelle. Lady Matriarch, I wish to speak with the Vestal of Water. Is Olivia at the temple? Ah, oh, of course. The two of you were so inseparable as girls. You scarce passed a day apart. Seems almost yesterday that. Fond memories of fairer times. But I fear the Vestal of Water is in hiding. Hiding? Even I cannot say where she makes her It's probably a good thing now. I mean, she's not... No. She should be safe. Then how does the Temple of Water fare? It suffers for the absence of its mistress and her acolytes. These months have seen it go ragged. Anyas, it may still hold some clue. Why don't we begin there? Yes, yes, of course. Party chat. A water vessel in me. 
It sounds like you and the vessel of water were really close. Olivia was my one and only friend. She is very dear to me. We are the same age and were selected as vessellings around the same time. Then we succeeded our predecessors and became full vessels together as well. We are always together, walking the same path and step. I do not know what I could have endured the vessel training without her. She was always a talented one, smarter than I, but kinder as well. She's so, so bright. There was a time we traded letters and nearly every day. Despite the distance separating us, she always felt close by. Once we became vestals, our responsibilities kept us from writing as often, but... I never imagined anything like this. Don't worry, I'm sure we'll find her. She's probably busy looking for you right now, too. Yes, of course. Thank you, Tis. So if I go up here... Probably not gonna be anything, right? Why, actually, there is actually nothing. There is nothing up here. Oh, hello. Random item. Save flowers, vessel sign. Start. Yeah, you said that. Okay. Clues for finding the vestal. Was that head south? Yeah, it looks like we head south. I uh, received a gift from a trader, but an ether. Nice. That's that's a nice gift. Uh, let's go ahead and read some of our book though, because we may possibly have new notes here. Uh, Ring a bell has new notes. Uh, I wish I would have wrote down the pages on when. Um. Think one page six. After feeding the night Hankel, the airship suddenly lurched downward. There was no one to take the helm. I remember the journal. I asked a day of the name of the airship. But as I spoke, I already knew the, air the answer. The Escalot. The ship and I have a history. I grabbed the wheel and put it under control. To relieve my chilly stomach, I looked out across the floor, chime inner sea from the pier. After retrieving that pretty shell I had spotted, I returned to find Anya's nursing tids on the bridge. Skystone was lying in pieces nearby. They said that moments after I left, a man in dark armor burst in. Idea. Well, I got some air. Well, I got some air, yeah. We were boarded by the Dark Knight, a leader of the Eternian forces, who proceeded to smash the Skystone. Tiz was knocked unconscious, and Anya escaped close to capture until Idea intervened. It seems the Dark Knight is a member of the Council of Six that rules of the Duchy, and a childhood friend of Idea. Came with eighth? Um Prince Minister Harina announced until King Alok Quintus King of the Eighth of Antrim had died after a sudden bout of illness. It seems the Prime Minister will oversee the government for the time being. Fortunately for the king, Antrim now seemed more peaceful than ever. Prime Minister Reina? We told Prime Minister Reina that the King of Anchime, who plotted to expel the vessel, was actually the slain Time Mage, Kamer of the Duchy. We asked what would become of Anchime, and he told us he would take the helm, but eventually the power would shift to the people. He wished us luck on our travels and told the vessel he eagerly waits her return. Altinus Council of Six, a knight cased in jet black armor, won the Council of Six in an old friend of Idea, to shadow the sky stone on the Escalot. A 23-year-old man of unknown origin, his name is Alternus Dim, bearer of the Dark Knight Asterisk. Wearing jet black armor and wielding a dark blade, he is a solemn warrior who takes duties very seriously. Likes a day of coffee, dislikes dessert, slow girls, and intellectuals. Okay, well there goes that theory. I had theorized that maybe Alternus is a... is ring a bell in another dimension, or maybe Alternus is a past version? Of Ring a Bell. Um, basically, that's how Ring a Bell got the journal because him and because he used to be Alternus and somehow he went back in time, which causes to lose his memory. But that can't have happened because he's 23 and I'm pretty sure Ring a Bell is what, 15? 16? Um. A man of unknown age. I guess 
maybe? But in the back of my head, I, I, I'm just, I, I just had this feeling like he's the same age as Tiz, Anes, and Idea. Which would mean, because of the Japanese version, you know, she's 15, 16. Uh, she's 15, 16, you know, these guys are probably 15, 16, too. So... I don't know, that puts a, that puts a little jam in my, uh, theory there. A uh, spell cancer kit. KMP Merchantry. A spell fence will do anything with money? I think I've read this first part. 37 year old man from Eternia. Sigma Sint is the holder of the spell fence asterisk. He turned his back on his old life to learn sword magic several years ago. Since then, none have seen him smile. He likes money. Dislikes talkative types and memories of family. Aww. Having lost the standing due to the vessel's popularity with the people, the king and chime desired to kill her and steal the crystal. Ponsin Anias, he revealed himself as Time Major Kamer. He attacked us together with the spell fencer Sigma Knight. After an arduous fight, we prevailed. Before his demise, Sigma said something about having achieved his objective. And of course, we have Kamer. Sneaking into the palace in the dread night, we found the king of Anchime talking to spell fencer Sigma Knight. Or Sigma Kint. I mean, I guess maybe it's supposed to be Sigma Knight or like a play on words. It seems he gave the water rights to the merchant tree to impoverish the people and turn them against the Vestal. Though his aim was to spread the anti crystallism supported by the Duchy, the appearance of the Wind Vestal foiled all his plans. People's faith in the Vestal continued to rise. And having lost all standing, the king began to fantasize about killing the vessel and stealing the crystal, revealing himself to be the time each came after Anius appeared. He attacked us together with the spell fencer Sigma Kent. Upon their defeat, the king continued to spout selfish drivel until he expired. The Matriarch Matriarch of Florm The water vessel Olivia is missing, and though Matriarch still governs Florm, in recent years people have drifted away from crystallism. Declining public morals or morals have distanced the Matriarch from state affairs. She is acquainted with Anias. Her age and name are not known. Not known. Locations. Uh, anything else? Uh, yeah, okay. That's what I thought. Miasma Woods. These Miasma Choke Woods, the sole overland route to Florham, are less noxious now that the wind has started blowing once more. Florham. A blessed with plentiful grasslands, flowers, waters, and flowers. Forest, water, and flowers. This region lies east of Caldissa and north of Harena. It is home to the Temple of Water. A nature's bounty. The flower gardens have drawn people and animals alike to the region, and the great forests and pure flowing waters sustain their lives. The people give thanks to the water crystal for the blessings of nature, making form a long-time center of crystallism. Flower gardens and forests. To the south stands the temple where the water crystals are enshrined. The clear waters cleansed by the temple empty into the floor chim inner sea. Great flower gardens are located to the west, and to the east stretches a vast forest. The ages old worship of the spirits of these lands still continues, in harmony with the crystallism. Florum, land of radiant flowers. The ancient traditions of this land dictate that men may not permanently reside within its borders, and it is said that the radiant flowers mentioned in the name also refers to its woman. Its capital city is built atop the bountiful waters of the Flora River. Pleasure Quarter. This bright, colorful area is an unexpected sight, as Florm is thought to be an impoverished yet honorable land blessed more by nature's bounty than material wealth. It is far different from what Anius remembers when she visited as a child. Rivertop City The lower area where the commoners once lived has been transformed into a shopping district, and the monuments venerating nature and the crystal have been torn down to make way for the flashy stage and colorful opulent buildings. It seems the city has undergone a multi-year transformation into the pleasure district it is today. The Decline of Crystallism The Florm was once said to be the land most firmly rooted in crystallism in all of Luxendark. There are few indications left. The water vessel has gone into hiding in the crystallist faithful cow and fair. Even the matriarch who governs this land has been driven to the fringes of the city and can do nothing more but watch the worsening changes. Alright. Oh, have we done the terms yet? Yeah, we have because some of them have been read. Uh, but we have a new thing for crystals here. Uh, let's see. Vestal Garb. A vessel must wear these vestments when performing the Rite of Awakening, which exercises any evil as befallen a crystal. The garb is specific to each vessel and cannot be borrowed. Rainbow Thread. This is the main material of the Vestal Garb that a vessel must wear when performing the Rite of Awakening on crystal, and the vessel must fetch it herself. The Duchy of Eternia. 
Found it 15 years ago on the continent of Eternia in Western Caldissa. This new land has placed a crystal there under its secular rather than religious control. Under the banner of anti-crystallism, the duchy has used its advanced science and military might in many ways to pressure the lands that still espouse crystallism. Duchy government. A kinsman of the kings who once ruled Eternia 2,000 years ago was chosen to rule the duchy as its archduke. But all administrative, judicial, scientific, and medical functions, as well as the four divisions of returning forces, are under the control of the Council of Six, the Duchy's highest governing body. And that's it for terms. Alright, um, one thing that does bug me, though, and that is that we're about to head to the Water Crystal area. But I never had an opportunity to do any side jobs. And why does that bug me? Because in the last place that we went, where the wind crystal was, we had side jobs and then we went to the temple. And part of the reason I'm talking right now is I'm waiting for the time to pass. Because once it gets night, I'm gonna go back into this city and see if, um, see if there's any indication of of a side hustle or a side scenario whatever you want to call it nothing except her yeah nothing but her oh she actually may have something hidden back there oh what do you know Couple things hidden. What's up with that weird mirror? Yeah, I mean, I would expect. I thought that was inspect. I mean, I would. It, I would. I, I mean, we've only gone through this once, so there's no reason that the second chapter has to play any different from the first chapter. Yeah, there is nothing new. Um, all right, well, if you have any suggestions, I would love to hear them uh, because I don't want to miss out on cool stuff. But for now, I think we're going to go ahead and stop here. My name is Flight is Bird. This is your Sword Gaming Channel. And this is our continued blind let's play of Bravely Default HD, the offline mod for the PC. I uh, do want to thank you for everything, my dear friends. You're all the number one YouTube comedian on all of YouTube. And I can't thank you enough for all that you do. Uh, before we leave, why don't we just pop this? Well, I guess you can't make it in less than a minute. But yeah, uh, so I guess in the next episode we'll, you know, head to the water crystal. Unless anyone has any other... Is that an armor? Oh, it's a gown. Ooh, night suit. Sounds cool, though. Unless anyone else have any different ideas, that's, I guess, where we'll be heading. And I'm looking forward to it. I'm, I'm really, really enjoying this game. This game is so much fun. It, it's just... The time goes by so fast when I play this game. It's, it's just flies absolutely flies so yeah I, I guess what i'll do is i'll put a quick cut here and i will be back in 20 seconds all right 20 seconds later we got the demon tail and i might as well just go ahead and put 29 there and then the rest here sure why not well, I will talk to you again very soon, my friends. Hope you have a wonderful, fantastic, amazing, awesome day. Until next time, so long, and take care. Thank you for watching this video. Feel free to comment on what you saw and what you'd like to see next. I always love to hear your thoughts. But before we go, please remember that you matter, and you are brilliant, and you are loved, and you should always be true to yourself. Never let the world tell you any different. Much love to you from your friendly, feathered, flightless bird.